Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm John R. and I'm your instructor. Today I'm going to show you how to use liver of sulfur. Now, you've probably seen finishes on silver jewelry that have been created using liver of sulfur. In its most common form, you've seen it where the silver is turned a dark gray, almost black by this material. But you can produce colors as well if you know how to work with the material correctly. Now, what you're going to need are some finished pieces of jewelry that are completely clean. Now, these have been taken out of the pickle pot and brass brushed and dried off without touching them. We don't want to have any of our finger grease on them. Now, the materials that you're going to need are some regular ammonia. You can get this at the grocery store. You'll need some liver of sulfur. It usually comes either in a liquid form or dry chunks like this. I prefer the dry chunks. Now you use a very, very small amount. You don't want to use a big chunk like this one. You want to use a little tiny piece. Usually they say a pea-sized piece will do the trick. So I'll drop one in to some very, very hot water. And you can see how the sulfur is already beginning to turn that water a nice yellowy color. All right, I'm going to add just a splash of ammonia. Now what the ammonia does is it helps to bring out blues and purples from this material. So we'll give this a second and let it go into solution. Now I have a pair of tongs here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the piece of jewelry with the tongs and dunk it into the material. And I'll check the color every time. When I find a color combination that I'm happy with, I will put the piece into a clear water bath to stop the reaction and then I will let the piece dry. Now, when you're finished, when the piece is completely dry, if you want to preserve the color, you could cover it with some Renaissance wax or some Johnson's paste wax for your floor. You would just wax over it and brush it off with a shoe shine brush. If you want to take the finish down and show shinier highlights, on areas that are raised, you could take off the liver of sulfur finish with some 4 aught steel wool. Okay, this is in solution. Let me grab one of my pieces. And it's a good idea to hold your piece tightly. You could use, you could use a wire. Anytime that you're holding the piece with the tongs, what can happen is, is this would act as a natural resist. Nothing will happen underneath there. So I'm going to grab it by the very, very top where the bale goes anyway. All right, so we're going to dunk in and I'll pull up. So far, nothing. Keep going. Now the first color I should be seeing is sort of a haystack yellow. There we go. We can kind of see it right there. Now the next color that pattern that we'll start to see are more of greens and maybe we'll start to see some blues and maybe some purples. And you can see I'm already starting to get some purple over in this area here. Now I'll dip it again. And that purple is joined by some orangey yellow. Now if you like this, at this point, all you have to do is dip it in some clear water, stop the chemical reaction, and then just place it on your pad and let it dry. Okay, I've got a combination of different types of surfaces here. I'm going to take this one next. Now this one is a roll printed surface, so it has pie bumps on a flat surface. So let's dip this one. So I'll dip it in. And I've kind of got that haystack yellow right there. Let's go again. Alright, now it's kind of haystack yellow in the center with a lot of purple on the edges. Let's try one more time. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Alright, I'm going to stop right there. I'll dip it into the clear water. Sometimes the back is even interesting too. And I'm going to let this dry. Now, I could let them go all the way to gray if I want to. Or I could do a combination, such as if I have this little palm tree here. As long as I don't have any of the material on the tongs, I could hold the top and I could dip the stem of the palm tree. Let's see if we can turn it kind of a yellow. Okay, so it's beginning to turn yellow. 
I'll stop it and I'll grab this end now and now I'll try to get this top part to be a different color. So I'll dip the fronds of the palm tree, swish it around a little bit. Let's see. Okay, they're going kind of dark and that's kind of interesting. I like that. So I'll stop it and put it over on my pad to dry. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got over here. I mean, we got some amazing colors. It almost looks like titanium, and that's great. Now, if I blot this a little bit, let me take a paper towel, and I'll blot this one just to show you a couple of the finishing techniques. So here's the one that was roll printed. If I take the steel wool and just brush it across, you can see how the steel wool helps to reveal the high points of the piece of metal and turns them back into a silver color. So you could do that on the whole piece or just half of it. It's up to you. Now, to preserve that, all I have to do is take a little bit of wax. You could use a brush. I kind of prefer to use my finger. And I'll just put a little bit of wax over this surface. Now, what's great about the Renaissance wax is it doesn't react with this material. We'll let that dry, and once it's dry, to put a shine to it again, I just give it a nice shoe shine with a shoe shine brush. This is a horsehair brush you can get at any pharmacy or grocery store. When you're finished, to dispose of the liver of sulfur, all you need to do is put it down the drain and run water after it. The solution to pollution is dilution. Have fun colorizing your silver jewelry with liver of sulfur. Check out our other videos and products on the onlinejewelryacademy.com and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.